Martin Odegaard's journey has been a labyrinth of twists and turns. Despite harboring dreams of donning Real Madrid's iconic jersey since his youth, his potential remained untapped during his tenure there. However, a pivotal shift occurred when Arsenal extended a permanent contract offer two years prior, granting him the platform to truly shine. Under the guidance of Mikel Arteta, Odegaard has emerged as a beacon of brilliance at the Emirates, silencing any lingering doubts about his abilities. Reflecting on his arduous path, how did Martin Odegaard transform from a promising talent into a celebrated star? Martin Odegaard's ascent to Arsenal stardom traces back to his humble beginnings at Stromsgotset, where he embarked on his football odyssey. Hailing from Drammen City, this club marked his maiden venture into professional football. At a mere 15 years and 118 days old, Odegaard etched his name in Norwegian football history as the youngest debutant, showcasing his prowess against Alessand's FK in 2014. His brief cameo in the Champions League qualifiers against Stoa Bucuresti, lasting a mere five minutes, left an indelible impression on spectators, earning him adulation despite the brevity. Within months, Odegaard earned a call-up to the Norwegian senior national team, making his mark at just 15 years and 253 days old, cementing his status as a prodigious talent from Norway. Teammates like Peter Kovacs lauded Odegaard's blend of confidence and humility, extolling his astute vision and mastery of the ball. Flamma Castrati echoed this sentiment, praising Odegaard's exceptional technical prowess and tactical acumen, sentiments echoed by coach David Nielsen, who admired Odegaard's unwavering focus and maturity from a tender age. Amidst growing European interest, including from powerhouses like Barcelona, Manchester United, and Liverpool, Odegaard remained resolute in his desire to don the iconic white jersey of Real Madrid, driven by a lifelong dream to grace the hallowed grounds of El Real. His dream realised in 2015, Odegaard expressed profound gratitude at joining the ranks of the illustrious club, as elucidated by Norwegian national team coach Jan H. Fjortoft, who shed light on Odegaard's unwavering devotion to Real Madrid, a testament to his boundless ambition and unwavering determination. Odegaard's decision to join Real Madrid stemmed from the allure of playing alongside football's elite talents, with the added allure of being under the tutelage of Zinedine Zidane, a coaching maestro. This move promised optimal development within Madrid's second team, as articulated by Fjortoft, offering Odegaard a fertile ground to hone his skills while biding his time for a first-team breakthrough. Jurgen Klopp, however, rued his failure to sway Odegaard towards Borussia Dortmund, admitting his candid conversation with the player's father may have backfired. Klopp emphasised the importance of Odegaard's academic development and advocated for a gradual progression, a stance that clashed with the player's desire for immediate top-tier action. Despite Klopp's efforts, Odegaard's resolve to jump straight into first-team football prevailed, a luxury Dortmund couldn't afford him at the time. Meanwhile, Odegaard's imminent arrival sparked fervour among Real Madrid faithful, evidenced by soaring jersey sales surpassing even Cristiano Ronaldo's iconic kit. Surging past the 50% mark, Odegaard's jersey outsold Ronaldo's by a significant margin, a testament to the burgeoning excitement surrounding the Norwegian wonderkid's arrival. Regrettably, Martin Odegaard's fairy tale tenure at Real Madrid came to an abrupt halt with the departure of Carlo Ancelotti from the managerial helm. Ancelotti's dismissal, prompted by the club's unmet expectations, marked the onset of tumultuous times for Odegaard. The reins were handed over to Rafael Benitez, heralding a period of stagnation in Odegaard's career trajectory. Hindered by limited playing time, Odegaard's luminous talents remained obscured during Benitez's brief stint, featuring scarcely in the 2014-2015 season, with a mere 32-minute cameo against Hetafe marking his solitary appearance. Following Benitez's departure after a solitary season, Zinedine Zidane assumed the managerial reins, yet Odegaard's fortunes failed to witness a significant upturn. Despite Zidane's earlier assurances of first-team involvement, Odegaard found himself relegated to the Real Madrid-Castilla squad during the 2015-2016 campaign, underscoring his peripheral status within the club's hierarchy. Despite fleeting promises of elevation, Odegaard remained on the periphery of Real Madrid's main squad, culminating in a lone move to SC Heerenveen for 18 months during the 2016-2017 season. Venturing into Dutch football, Odegaard found a rejuvenating environment at SC Heerenveen, gradually flourishing under increased playing opportunities. 
Emerging as a linchpin in Heron Veen's attacking arsenal, Odegaard's creative spark illuminated the pitch, exemplified by his adept dribbling and deft assists. Notably, his sublime backheel assist against AZ Orkma epitomized his ingenuity, albeit in a losing effort. Showered with plaudits by Heron Veen's then coach, Johnny Jansen, Odegaard's spellbinding displays mirrored his innate football in brilliance, offering a glimpse of his prodigious potential. During his inaugural season with SC Heron Veen, Odegaard showcased promising glimpses, featuring in 18 matches and delivering a commendable tally of one goal and three assists, a commendable feat for a young talent. Bolstered by his initial success, Odegaard's sophomore campaign witnessed an uptick in appearances, as he graced the pitch 26 times across all competitions, notching two goals and two assists, further solidifying his burgeoning reputation. However, upon his return to Real Madrid, Odegaard found himself overlooked by Zinedine Zidane, the club legend turned coach, prompting another loan spell, this time to Dutch outfit Vitesse for the 2018-2019 season. In the Eredivisie, Odegaard's virtuosity flourished once more, with an impressive return of 11 goals and 13 assists from 39 appearances, earning plaudits from Vitesse coach Leonid Slutsky, who hailed Odegaard's unparalleled contributions on the pitch. Despite fervent interest from Real Madrid to secure his permanent services, Odegaard opted to decline the offer, citing his desire for continued growth and development. Expressing his satisfaction with Vitesse as a conducive learning environment, Odegaard emphasized the importance of freedom and trust in fostering his enjoyment of the game, outlining his aspirations to further elevate his on-field impact in the seasons to come, while remaining open to potential opportunities elsewhere, contingent upon Real Madrid's decision-making. Upon his return to Real Madrid, Odegaard expressed determination to vie for his spot among the squad's talent pool, exuding confidence in his ability to compete. However, Zinedine Zidane's attention remained elusive, prompting another loan move in 2019, this time to Real Sociedad for a season. With La Real, Odegaard's impact was immediate and profound, instrumental in propelling the squad into La Liga's top five. Thriving in a midfield role, Odegaard's adept passing and creative prowess earned accolades from coach Emmanuel Algusel, who lauded his contributions of seven goals and nine assists. Odegaard's insatiable hunger for improvement and willingness to make sacrifices left an indelible mark on Sociedad's campaign, earning admiration from Algusel. Reflecting on his contrasting experiences at Real Madrid and Sociedad, Odegaard noted the positive atmosphere and balanced expectations within the latter, contrasting with the weight of scrutiny he felt in Madrid. Despite his desire to impress upon his return to Real Madrid in 2020, Zidane's stance remained unchanged. Subsequently, Real Madrid sanctioned another loan move, this time to Arsenal. In 2021, Martin Odegaard made his official move to England, donning the colours of Arsenal after being loaned from Real Madrid for the season ahead. Swiftly acclimating to his new surroundings, Odegaard's seamless transition caught many by surprise as he showcased commendable performances, earning comparisons to the esteemed Mesut Ozil, whom he was deemed to be on par with. Under the stewardship of Mikel Arteta, Odegaard swiftly asserted himself as a pivotal figure in the Arsenal midfield, garnering the trust of his manager and assuming the mantle of first-choice playmaker. Despite facing setbacks such as an ankle injury sidelining him for spells, Odegaard's impact remained undiminished, contributing two goals and two assists in 20 appearances across all competitions. Expressing his delight at his new surroundings, Odegaard exuded a sense of belonging from the outset, embracing his role within the Arsenal setup with enthusiasm and vigour. Arteta, recognising Odegaard's potential, affirmed the club's long-standing interest in the player, citing his unique qualities as a valuable addition to the team's arsenal. As the 2020-2021 season drew to a close, Mikel Arteta made a pivotal decision to secure Martin Odegaard's permanent transfer, marking a significant milestone in the player's journey with Arsenal. Negotiations with Real Madrid proceeded seamlessly, facilitated by the Spanish club's willingness to part ways with Odegaard at a relatively modest fee of €35 million, Euros, underscoring their lack of desire to retain his services. Odegaard's love affair with Arsenal flourished as he continued to thrive under Arteta's guidance in the 2020-2021 campaign. Featuring prominently in 40 appearances, he showcased his attacking prowess with seven goals and five assists, albeit falling short of securing a higher league finish for the Gunners, who settled for fifth place. 
The subsequent season witnessed Odegaard's meteoric rise, as he spearheaded Arsenal's resurgence, transforming them into unexpected contenders for the Premier League title. Elevating the team's status from a mid-table outfit to genuine rivals of Manchester City, Odegaard's instrumental role in Arsenal's ascent garnered widespread acclaim. Although their title bid ultimately faltered due to inconsistency in the latter stages of the league, Odegaard's contributions ensured a coveted place in the Champions League, a significant achievement for both himself and the club. With Arsenal's return to Europe's elite competition after a five-year absence, Odegaard's impact reverberated throughout the Emirates, sparking hopes of sustained success under his stewardship. As Arsenal fans eagerly anticipate the future, the question remains, can Martin Odegaard maintain his stellar form and propel Arsenal to greater heights in the seasons to come?